Number two, Telluride, Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. One of the most beautiful states in America. I don't even want to debate. Colorado is tremendous. Colorado. The city, crazy name. Telluride, Telluride. Telluride, Colorado. Oh my God, Telluride. Okay, Telluride. Yeah, Telluride. Telluride, Colorado. Makes sense. Oh, Telluride. By the way, it's looking amazing. Today I'll be reacting to the friendliest cities in the USA. My friends, this should be a fascinating one. And if your city appears in the list, you have to leave me a comment. But before I go into that, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, thank you so much. It's the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, well, in that case, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description and uh, let's play it. Welcome to Mojo Travels. And today we're mm -hmm. counting down our picks for the top 10 friendliest cities in the US. Top 10. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure I to am, subscribe actually. to Mojo Travels and ring the hey, bell to be notified for me about also, our friends. latest videos. Also the bell, yeah. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at cities across America where you're inclined to receive the warmest welcome. Okay, actually I would love to do some predictions on this one, but I have no idea. Uh, but I'm still going to shoot some names. Chicago and Dallas. Those two will appear. And are you sure? Not at all. Number 10, San Diego, oh, California. San Diego. <laughs> Temperatures in San Diego rarely rise above 100 degrees sitting comfortably in the high 60s and high 70s throughout mm. the year. The sunny and partly cloudy days vastly outweigh the rainy ones, delivering pitch-perfect beach weather. With a Damn, uh, California overall is a beautiful state, uh, but uh, the, the thing that I... There is two things that I think uh, are amazing about California, is the nature that is incredible, but the weather is also tremendous, right? And, 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 and I think that uh, makes the state very, very awesome climate like this, we can see why San Diego residents have such radiant attitudes. Their positivity has a way of rubbing off on visitors. In really? addition to the beaches, you'll find plenty of friendly faces at the San Diego Zoo and Balboa Park. If you mm. ever lose your way, don't hesitate to ask somebody for directions. San Diego is full of neighborly people willing to lend a helping hand. You'll come for the sightseeing sunset wow. cruises, but you'll want to stay for the friendships formed on board. Number 9. Portland, Oregon. Oregon? Portland goes by a few nicknames, but the city of... Oh, when they are playing soccer. I love it. <laughs> ...roses is the official one. Aside from the Portland Rose Festival, this nickname is reflected through the city's rosy population. Portland's blossoming scenery transports people into a state of constant tranquility and bliss. It's a feeling you want to share with everyone around you. Visitors can get in touch with nature and the community at the Portland Japanese Garden or the International Rose Test Garden. Portland's architecture is also booming with personality, much like its colorful residents. Of course, nothing brings people together like food. So this why not true. bond with your loved ones over a box of Portland's famous donuts or make some new friends at one of the many food trucks? No. Okay, okay. Uh, let me say one thing. Oregon, I already have in high regard, you know what I mean? Because uh, um, I know it's a beautiful place, but uh, Portland, I was not aware. Number 8. Honolulu, Hawaii. Hawaii. According to a Wallet Hub survey taken in 2020, Hawaii was ranked the happiest state in the US. That's a distinction this wondrous destination has clearly earned. What? While Hawaii in general is a friendly place, you can experience everything that makes the Aloha State wonderful in Honolulu. Translating to sheltered harbor or calm port, Honolulu more than lives up to its name. Part of that is because of the relaxing ambiance, complete with elegant beaches and luau's. It's the people who make Honolulu a paradise, however. LA isn't merely a tourist gimmick. It can be a symbol of welcome or a parting gift. Either way, mm. when somebody presents you with a flower garland, you'll understand the meaning of Ohana. Number 7. Buffalo, New York. Oh, Buffalo. <laughs> I don't know this city, my friends, but in New York. Okay, okay, so <laughs> this caught me by surprise. New Yorkers sometimes get a bad rep for not being the most cheerful folks. While big Why? city life can bring out one's aggressive side, few states have a stronger sense of community. 
Whenever the country faces an especially dark hour, New Yorkers are known to band together and show others support. Nowhere is this more common than in Buffalo, which has been dubbed the city of good neighbors. Buffalo has a long-standing history of opening their arms to outsiders, tracing back to the 1800s and the subsequent waves of immigration and population shifts. Even in the 21st century, thousands of refugees have found new homes in Buffalo. Winter okay, one thing, my friends. I think when, at least me, of course, when I think about New York, I always think about New York City, but the state is really big, right? Uh, it seems like Buffalo, New York is a tremendous place, and uh, I was not even aware. How crazy. Winters can be brutal, but you'll always find a friendly face shoveling snow. Okay. Number six, Key West, Florida. Mm. The beautiful island. Florida, of course. I mean, Key West, I actually, I, I saw a video about Key West. This place is paradise also. And of Key West is among the most laid back and accepting destinations in the US. The locals are a lot like a sea breeze, making even the most humid days feel fresh and inviting. This tropical savanna lives by the official motto, one human family, a saying originally coined by Key West artist and designer JT Thompson. One human family straightforwardly conveys the message that no matter how different people are, we're all equals. Although Okay, I have a random question, uh, not that random, but um, related in this case with Florida. I saw the other day in the comments that people told me that Florida is a place that people love to go to retire. And uh, they even end up using a term that uh, I believe is winter birds or something. Sorry, my friends, I don't remember exactly that. People go there, then they leave. Uh, but you guys get the point, basically. But is that uh, a true stereotype that people retire there? Or is... Because it seems a city with so much life, you know. Oh, Thompson came up... A city, sorry. A state. I was thinking about Miami, but uh, a state. With the motto, the people of Key West inspired it. Quote... I probably wouldn't have come to the concept if I'd been living anywhere else, Thompson said. Our tight-knit and supportive community understands how valuable paying it forward is. And we do. Number 5. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa if Fe. you're a rent head, you know that sunny Santa Fe is a nice place to settle down with your significant other and maybe open a restaurant. Jonathan oh. Larson painted an accurate portrayal of New Mexico's capital, which certainly has one of the country's hottest restaurant scenes. The light went crazy. <laughs> and where there's a plethora of food, there's plenty of people to share your meal with. Santa Fe mm. is a cornucopia of creativity, as reflected through the numerous art galleries. Growing up in some other places, artistic thinkers can sometimes feel like outsiders. Outside thinking is embraced in Santa Fe. Oh, wow, what? Santa Fe, however, meaning you're bound to find someone who shares your unique tastes. Although it's New Mexico's fourth largest city, Santa Fe has a small town vibe that's only emphasized by the community's hospitality. Hmm. Number four, Chattanooga, Tennessee. What the hell is that name? Chattanooga? Oh, okay, let's run it back, sorry. Community's hospitality. Number four, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay, the name is not that friendly, but uh, Tennessee is beautiful. So I'm really curious to check this city out. Nashville is Tennessee's most populous city, and it's... Yeah, 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 I'm aware of Nashville. Okay, that's... Okay, yeah. I Actually, when I think about uh, Tennessee, I think about Nashville. Definitely the place to be if you want to share your love of country music with others. Oh, when it comes to friendliness, country. though, Chattanooga brings out the best in Tennessee. Nicknamed the Scenic City, this county seat is distinguished by its vast mountains, parks, and the Tennessee what? River. Being such an outdoors-oriented city, you're inclined to oh pick up God. some new friends observing the views from the Rock City Gardens or jogging across the Walnut Street Bridge. You couldn't ask for a more family-friendly city either, with the Tennessee wow. Aquarium offering fun for all ages. Visiting Chattanooga is almost like stepping into a postcard, instantly making you feel welcome. And with a backdrop like this, the scenery must be shared. Holy moly, Chattanooga, Ch okay. Chattanooga looks amazing. Holy, Tennessee overall is a great state, uh, but uh, Chattanooga, okay. Okay, I will pay more attention to this, you know, because, uh, yeah, and I think this is normal. Uh, a lot of videos, they talk about the big cities in the state. Uh, 
like Nashville, but um, Chattanooga, okay, this is looking so nice. Number three. Any chance I have anyone watching from Chattanooga? No, right. Yeah. Oh well, that's right. Park City, Utah. Park City is perhaps the closest the U.S. gets to a winter wonderland. Utah. Granted, it doesn't snow all year. Between November and April, though, it's a regular North Pole and the people are as jolly as Saint Nick himself. What? Even if you're not the most seasoned skier or snowboarder, newbies will feel more than welcome on the slopes. Park City is at its most hospitable. Oh, it's so beautiful. Damn. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love the buildings. All the snow. in January when the Sundance Film Festival is held. Whether you're watching a future Oscar contender or a little passion project that an unknown artist spent years trying to make, audiences feel as if they're part of something special just sitting in the theater. It doesn't just bring together the film community, it reminds us what it means to be a community. Number two, Telluride College. Colorado. One of the most beautiful states in America. I don't even want to debate. Colorado is tremendous. Colorado. The city. Crazy name. Tellerudy. 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 It's right there. Be a community. Number two. Telluride, Colorado. Oh my god. Telluride. Okay. Telluride. Yeah. Telluride. Telluride, Colorado. Makes sense. Oh. Telluride, by the way, it's looking amazing, is another skiing community known for its annual film festival. Unlike Sundance, TFF takes place in September, meaning you can avoid the heavy snow. No matter okay. what time of the year you visit, Telluride will surely greet you with a hearty welcome. Hopping on a gondola, you might find yourself sitting next to a complete stranger, but by the time you reach the top, you could ski off with a new friend. During the summer, you may also pick up a few hiking companions while seeking. I would not do insurance for this house, I have to be honest. What the hell? But the place is looking ridiculous. Good. Seeking out Bridal Veil Falls. In addition to film festivals, people come together for the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, the Telluride Tech Festival, huh? and other annual events. In this box canyon, you're always surrounded by two things, mountains and friendly people. Okay. Number one, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina is tremendous, Charleston. Okay, again, not aware. Greenville is certainly a multi-hued city with fascinating people. If vibrant color is what you seek though, look no further than Rainbow Row in Charleston. The people are every bit as charming as these historic houses. Over the past decade, travel and leisure has ranked Charleston the number one city in the U.S. for friendliness on multiple occasions, wow. while Southern Living Magazine called it the most polite and hospitable city in America. Charleston is a hub of Southern hospitality, from festive beaches to enticing restaurants to alluring architecture. Perhaps the Southern hospitality is something else, right, my friends? So it makes sense that the number one will be a, a place in the South. The most iconic site is Waterfront Park's Pineapple Fountain. But wherever you go in Charleston, you'll feel the friendliness. Oh, amazing. Do you agree with our love, picks? Love. Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay, my friends, this was amazing, not gonna lie. Um, I like it all. San Diego, San Diego is very famous, I feel like. San Diego, from the cities that end up appearing here, I feel like San Diego is in a different level. San Diego is so famous. Portland Portland is also famous, I would say. Oh, Honolulu is also very famous. Okay, never mind, actually. There is a, a Buffalo, no idea. Uh, Key West, very famous. Santa Fe, very famous. This one, uh, not that famous, but yeah. Thank, thank you so much for watching this with me, my friends. Really means a lot. See you guys in the next one. Bye. And that's it, my friends. I hope you had fun with me on this one. It's always my main goal. If I made you laugh, that, trust me, means the world to me. But before we go, let me say one thing. I actually have a bunch of other social media, 
Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok. Please feel free to follow me there. I leave the links below. You don't have to do it, but if you do it, I appreciate you quite a lot. Uh, that's it. See you guys in the next one.